Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I want to talk about a job that I worked at where people would do, the higher ups would do anything to make a buck. Uh, I think the higher ups got, you know, benefits, extra, uh, I don't know, you know, some kind of bonus or maybe commission or something. And they would do anything, including putting other, including putting the employees in like a financial danger or even could be fined and or imprisoned, their livelihood would be put at risk, and all so they could get their own money. Okay, and I see this still. This was many years ago, and I it was a field that I had worked in for a lot of years. Okay, I'll tell the story first. And I had switched to this new job, and immediately I started wondering things, you know, um, such as that it seemed like a we called then, I don't know if they still call it now, revolving door jobs. You know, the person starts working there, next thing you know, well, it's usually somebody else goes out. Okay, and it didn't seem like anybody lasted long, longer than a few months, and they would hire people who were totally green, you know, new to the field. They would hire them, promote them in management, and then, then they would leave, okay? Then they would leave. And it seemed like, you know, some people would say, well, back then it was like, once you hit your 90 days, you got benefits, including insurance. So maybe that's what they did. I had a job that that happened in, too. Uh, but it, I'm thinking, no, it was something else. What I'm thinking it was, was that the company, the corporation, was teaching the management, or the management themselves, wanted all that extra money, you know, their, their kickbacks, their bonuses, or whatever, so they, they taught everybody how to do things wrong. Well, the people who would be out the door were the ones who were started questioning it, maybe. The ones who had actually worked in the field said, no, you don't do things this way, because there were laws and everything. But there, there was one difference is that it, that field, things were always changing also, so. Okay, and there, there were plenty of people working there, males and females, who had, you know, started working there and they'd worked in that field for years. And like I said, since things were always changing, maybe they thought, well, you know, maybe this is something that had changed. Well, th this is what happened to me, too, is I had worked mainly seasonal in that field. And I knew a guru, still do, in that field. So I don't work in that field anymore. But so I started noticing little things like they were, you know, on forms, all they would do is if something wasn't right, they would just kind of like... Um, they had those old-fashioned typewriters. I don't even know what it's called anymore. But you put it in there and they just, you know, put some white strip from the, um, from that whatever it was, that typewriter, and correct it. Well, that was, that was actually illegal. Like at the date, yeah, it was actually illegal. Illegal or, you know, something like that. And like I said, depending on what it was, a person, an employee, could be fined and or imprisoned. Well, when people started bringing this up, they would say, no, 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 it goes back on the company if we're doing something wrong. Yeah. And I found out, no, it doesn't. It, it goes back on the company, but it can also go back on you, too. You know, come back on you so you could be, you could not be allowed to work in that field ever again also. So, but they were teaching the opposite. And, of course, they were making a lot of money off of this. Okay, so not only had I noticed that, you know, that was one thing I, I really wasn't certain about. I never had that situation come up before, so, well, after I started noticing a little more things, I called my guru, for, you know, and she told me, no, what they're doing is illegal. Um, you know, something like that. You don't do that, no matter what they say. So, all the stuff that I had for that, you know, that I would need to do, like, to change the date. I just kept in the drawer. I didn't do them. You know, I needed, I was on my own and uh, needed a job, was hoping to find a new job. So I just set those aside and didn't touch them, didn't do anything that was considered illegal. But things in meetings they kept telling and I kept asking my guru, I said, no, that's wrong, that's wrong. So eventually I, you know, told the management and they had changed the, our, our department manager. She was a real nice woman. She was young and she was she hadn't worked in that section before she another one there was two of them she um just didn't know 
she seemed like it. Now, she could have been lying, of course. All of them could have been lying. But so I brought it up to her, and, and yeah. The one that she hired, the one that hadn't even worked in that field before, they they basically got us all in the meeting and said, oh, no, this is how it is, and that. Yeah, they were the flying monkeys for the people who were making, you know, the, the most money off of us doing, you know, possibly doing something that was illegal because they were telling us we could. But some of us were seasoned, and we started talking, you know, and some of the stuff I brought up that I had never known before, and then some of the stuff they started saying, oh, you can do this and that. No, you can't. Anyway, I, I think I wound up quitting right after that, after seeing other people going out. You know, like one guy, I think he was taking classes to learn how to do this better and stuff, and maybe he, that's what happened to him. He brought it up that, no, this is not right. But eventually, I did call their corporate office and say, this is what they're having us do, and I want to know why. You know, that kind of thing. Not Probably not just that, but... And I remember it was a guy who answered. They, they got me to this guy, and uh, seemed very professional, and he told me, no, it would fall back on us, not you. Yeah. No, that's not true. That was not true. Okay. Well, that wasn't the only time I saw things like that in my lifetime. You know, corruption, money, corruption, yeah. But th these were people, you know, the higher-ups, like I said, they, they got some, something off of it and wanted us to be the ones to take, you know, to get, take the blame for it. They had somebody, you know, the scapegoats to do. And, I, and like I said, I've seen this so many times in my life and I've seen it, seen, still seeing it, but... The, one of the things that happens is, say, when, when somebody slaps their wrist and says, no, you cannot do that, we, we're making, enforcing the law now and making everybody aware of it, and you cannot do that. What is strange to me, but not strange to me, I mean, I know this happens too, is that um, you know, the people who have gotten used to getting away with it, some of them might not even have known that it was something. They think that it's all of a sudden somebody's coming down hard on them, you know, and that somebody's coming up with a new rule and they're going to fight against it. But no, it's always been there. You just didn't know about it or you didn't care that it was there. You just thought that you were above the law. You could do whatever you wanted to do. And now that somebody's saying no, you're so used to your own lying, you know, your own ways of making, you don't even know anymore maybe. You know, because you're so used to just doing whatever you want. You know, want to do to make that money. <clears throat> but I, I'm not talking you, you, but you know, brief, um, just an expression to say you make it short. But yeah, I have seen this so much that people, and they get so frustrated. And, and there, like I said, there are some people who were totally naive to that, that fact. They were taught that way. They were. They always assumed they were doing right. They would not have done anything illegal in the first place if they had known better. But yeah, once they find out, and know you can't do that, and they see that it starts to take away from their money, they start yelling. So, say you're one of the ones who, who did not do it, who stuck the stuff in the drawer and said, I'm not touching that. I'm not doing anything illegal just so they can make some money. And they're paying me you know, not, <laughs> I'm not making enough. Who would be making enough to do something illegal? I wouldn't. They couldn't pay me enough. In other words, yeah. But who that would be like that would sit there and say, good, they got what they deserved. You know, bad karma caught up with them. Their lies, their cheats, their, you know, script, their ways around it, their greed finally caught up with them. So they have to pay the price. Now me, I know any, anything that I feel like that, that I'm glad somebody's bad karma caught up with them. I don't, really. You know, I, w I wouldn't wish that kind of thing on anybody. Um, you know, something really bad on anybody. But at the same time, it is actually good to see justice being served. You know, that somebody who thought that they could use everybody else, cause everybody else problems with their life to get what they wanted, the money, is now being shown, no, you can't. And look, you're going to pay the price. All that ill-gotten gain, as some people call it, <laughs> the expression, ill-gotten gain, you know, all that money that they got, they'll wind up court costs, you know, fees, whatever. They're paying it back. 
Now, like I said, I, can't, I don't like to see bad things happen to anybody, but when justice is being served, that's a different thing. You know, I used to be stuck right there. I don't like seeing bad karma catch up. I don't see, want to see bad things happen to people. And then Adam reminded me, well, yeah, you know, but you do want to see justice. <laughs> I said, you're right. I don't know. I got stuck right there. But what about you? Where would you be? Would you, would you be happy or would you just say, well, justice was served? And that's not a bad thing. You know, they were using innocent bystanders that could have been you just so they could make some money. Anyway, if you feel comfortable, leave a comment below. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share on your own social media if you would. I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.